Uh, today we're uh, very grateful to have with us uh, Mr. Israel Izzy Patoka. Um, Izzy is director of the Governor's Office of Community Initiatives. So we're happy to have uh, Izzy uh, in that role. We are happy uh, to have Izzy as a friend of the council, a longtime friend of many of us personally. Uh, we're fortunate to have him working for the governor and for the state. So it's my pleasure to introduce to you uh, <coughs> Izzy Patoka. Thank you, John. That was such a nice introduction, and uh, good morning, everyone. It's good to be here today. Um, I want to thank the Associated and the Baltimore Jewish Council for the fine work they do. Um, special thanks to Art, to uh, Pam, to Toba, to Rafi, uh, to Jimmy Berg, and to Mark Terrell. I want to talk a little bit about uh, Baltimore's Jewish community, how it relates to uh, other communities in the state and I was going to talk a little bit about kind of my relationship with the governor, how I fit in the O'Malley orbit, uh, the role of the administration, a little bit about state budget and also the governor's commitment to the Jewish community. I want to talk a little bit about uh, Baltimore's Jewish community, how it relates to uh, other communities in the state and I was going to talk a little bit about kind of my relationship with the governor, how I fit in the O'Malley orbit, um, the role of the administration, a little bit about state budget and also the governor's commitment to the Jewish community. In Maryland, our kind of religious makeup, our makeup of our, our people is about 250,000 Jewish residents, about 92,000 in the Baltimore area, 122,000 in the greater Washington area, and uh, 22,000 in the Howard County area. So it's kind of filling in between Baltimore and Washington. How it relates to some of the other communities, our Muslim community is about 80 to 100,000 in the state, although there aren't any real hard numbers. Like for example, uh, I think the uh, Associated Commission to Study couple of years back to try to figure out not only our population but some other demographic factors but there hasn't been anything done similarly in the Muslim community. Our African American community is about 1.5 million of a state that's about 5.5 million. So just to give you a flavor, we're 250,000, 92,000 in this region of 5.5 million. Um, and but we have a pretty strong voice, and I think I attributed a lot of that when we talked, I spoke yesterday at the uh, United Jewish Communities uh, Government Affairs Institute and attributed a lot of the success to the advocacy here done uh, in Baltimore by the Associated and the Baltimore Jewish Council. Um, I first met Governor O'Malley. I want to give two examples of of our faith-based outreach that worked really well. Uh, one is in the repeal of the death penalty in Maryland. It's that we partnered, the governor partnered with uh, faith-based leaders, Jewish, Christian, Muslim, uh, with legislative leaders and pushed forward uh, legislation that made it very difficult for a human being to put another human being to death intentionally in the state of Maryland. And I think that makes a statement about what we are as a society here in Maryland. Uh, also, in partnership with the faith-based community, uh, we produced this really beautiful report called A Fresh Start in Renewing Immigrant Integration for a Stronger Maryland. And uh, this just was published just yesterday, so I've been taking around. We had 28 members of the Maryland Council for New Americans, which was one of the new uh, ethnic commissions. It was led by Ike Leggett from Montgomery County, and uh, somebody we're losing to the Obama administration, Tom Perez, who was the Secretary of Department of Labor, Licensing, and Regulation. And uh, it uh, it works, it uh, examines areas of workforce, 
citizenship, financial services, and government access as they relate to new Americans. And I think all of us here probably uh, are descendants of new Americans. And also legal permanent residences. <coughs> residents. Uh, and of the, of the 28 members of the Council of 11 were faith-based. I'm going to shift gears totally now, and I want to talk a little bit about Maryland's budget. And uh, <coughs> there's some numbers I have in here that have changed slightly Barry, on the MIDC, so you can correct me at that point. In the shadow of the most severe economic downturn since <coughs> the Great Depression, uh, the governor has had to reduce the budget by $4.3 billion and 3,200 physicians. And for the Jewish community, in the shadow, in the same shadow of this economic downturn, Governor O'Malley, I believe, has committed an unprecedented uh, level of funding towards Jewish facilities. Let me give you an example. For Sinai Hospital in fiscal 2010, 2010, there was a $5 million uh, commitment for Norks or naturally occurring retirement communities, 500,000. In Montgomery County, 650,000 for Charles E. Smith life communities, and also for the Jewish Council for Aging in Montgomery County. 75,000 for Jewish group homes. There was a legislative bond bill for half a billion dollars for the Owings Mills Jewish Community Center. That's fiscal 10. Fiscal nine, um, one million dollars for the Jewish Council for the Aged, seven hundred and sixty thousand for the Charles E. Smith Life Communities, two hundred and fifty thousand uh, for the Jewish Foundation for Group Homes. In fiscal two thousand and eight, uh, there was a two point five million state contribution to the Jewish Community Development Building Involvement. The total <coughs> eleven point five million in two and a half years in the shadow. 4.3 billion dollars in cuts. Also for MIDC, I think when we came on, the Maryland Israel Development Corporation was, uh, and ABBA is acknowledging this, uh, we went from 100,000 in state commitment to 175. I will admit, in, in uh, the spirit of full disclosure, I think there was a slight reduction in the latest round of uh, year cuts, but not much. Two reductions. Pardon? Two. Two. Well, we're not going to talk about We won't talk. Now. This question came up yesterday uh, when we were in Washington talking to your national colleagues. And they say, how did you do that? How did you do that? And do 11.5 million in the shadow of this $4.3 billion in cuts. And I said, it's easy. I said, our advocacy groups like the Baltimore Jewish Council and the Associated are visible. And they're influential and they're substantive and it makes a difference because I can tell you right now if they weren't influential and visible and substantive it wouldn't be 11.5 million it'd be a little bit it'd be a token but it wouldn't be significant in my opinion so I think you should feel good about the work that's done here and uh, your colleagues your national colleagues feel good about the work we're doing here, so that must say so. So you can tell I'm really proud of what uh, is going on here with uh, Governor O'Malley's commitment to the Jewish community. I really am proud about it, and I feel good about it. It makes me feel good to help my community. My aura is that my parents were Holocaust survivors, and so that's a part of me. And so when I can help my own community, my own faith, it's more special. Uh, it just feels very special because Really, just one generation ago, this would not have been foreseeable for my family. I want to thank you all for inviting me to speak today, and uh, I'm glad to answer any questions. I hope I didn't run over time.